Yeah, what's good, you with kids? We back with another reaction video. No cap today. We got the convenience store horror story anime. You know what I'm saying? Before getting the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my Twitch channel. Look at the description. Follow me on Twitch. We go get you into video. No cap, bro. The boy I'm in my twenties working part time at a convenience store. Mm -hmm. This unforgettable incident is the scariest thing I've ever experienced while working here. It was a few months ago. There was a boy who came to the convenience store every day. He looked like a middle school student and wore a baseball cap. Mm -hmm. However, he was always crying whenever I looked closely at Damn. his face. I thought he might have some backstory. Seeing him every day, I felt a sense of closeness toward him. So I asked him what was going on, but... He always kept his mouth shut and never said anything. He probably didn't abuse his son. The strange thing was that there was always a very big guy following him. Oh. At first. He's kidnapped. I thought he would be one of his family members. He's kidnapped. He had a suspicious look about him. One day, the child hesitated as if to tell me something. Then the big guy approached him, and he glanced at the man and went outside with him. I knew something was going on. He seemed like he needed help. That's scary. I made up my mind to talk to him and help this poor kid when he comes in next time. The next day, the boy came back to the convenience store. Still, he was wearing a baseball hat and the big guy was following from behind. Once again, I plucked up my courage and asked quietly what was going on. He glanced back and seemed to say something, but said nothing. I whispered to you him. You should have called the cops. I'll help you. I'll call the police if you need me to. Then he opened his eyes wide and quietly said, No. He looked terrified. What Poor the thing. fuck is going on? I wanted to help this kid. Then the man behind looked at us with a frown approached us and quickly took the child outside bro what is going on i couldn't get the kid out of my head the entire time you should have called the cops been been called I the cops didn't know what to do the next day like in situations like this you know what i'm saying can you pause my head to pause you gotta you know what i'm saying you gotta call the cops before you know what i'm saying let them know what the situation is you know what i'm saying let them know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying stay there you know what i'm saying so when this happens you know what i'm saying Get him some help. I ain't gonna lie. And if there ain't nothing going on, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going on. But you know what I'm saying? It's better to be safe. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what this thing's going through. Again, that I would help any way I could. He still remained silent and gave me no response. This time, I eventually decided to follow the kid. After he left, I closed the convenience store and followed him in secret. Why would you follow them, though? I guess that the child was living close to the convenience store. And I was right. I found out the location of his house. When this big guy who was always following the child went somewhere else, I grabbed the kid's shoulder. He looked at me with a shocked face, looked around, and soon began to talk to me. He said that he was kidnapped and was watched by the other men. Why would you just stand there, bro? Are you foolish, bro? You're so he... slow. Why are you just standing in front? Oh, my God. He would come. He told me, he also told me to run as soon as possible. Hey, let me help you. However, he kept saying that if I called the police, we would all die. Then he hurriedly pushed me and went into the house. I was so confused. Bro, run. Then two larger men suddenly approached You dumb as hell. Me. You stupid. What are you doing here? Do you know the kid? While I was in a panic, you stupid, you so dumb, to bro. Drag me into the house, and one rummaged in his pockets. I pushed them away with okay, all okay, at least you got away. Crazy, I could hear the men shouting, "Get back here, or I'll kill this kid!" Oh shit! I was worried about him, but I had no choice. Yeah, but to run in fear. I'm alive. Eventually, you stupid, you I fucked got up. out of there and shivered for a long time. Call the cops! I tried to call the police, but suddenly remembered the child's face telling me not to call them. I couldn't do anything. You're so time dumb. Time just went by, but 
I didn't even have the courage to go there again. I wouldn't either. I ain't gonna lie. I'm calling the cops. Since that day, after so many days, he no longer showed up at the convenience store. That kid store. dead, bro. He was even no longer seen near his house. You fucked up. After that, I quit working at the convenience store and stayed in fear for a long time. But I still lived that day in my mind. So stupid. Just a constant loop. I wonder what happened to the kid. What kind of men were they? And is he still alive? That's crazy, bro. You stupid, bro. If you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next. And I'm gone. No kappa.